Hey everybody, it's Big Mayonnaise, back on the sandwich. We're right back into where we left off here, and today we're gonna be focusing on just finishing the prologue here. If you guys watched the last episode, then you already know, hit that subscribe button. If you don't know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and see what happens. See what kind of magical stuff- oh. You've heard a lot of nice things about Topeka, but not 1200 miles worth of nice things. Okay, so apparently, everything we need to do is somewhere around here. Is this knapsack your only luggage? Oh, that ain't mine. It's been here since before I arrived myself. Nobody's been able to work out how to open the dang thing. So if you can figure out the trick, you're welcome to it. You inspect the bag. It appears to be latched shut with one of those puzzles made out of bent nails and steel wire. How he wasn't just harmonica- harma- harmonica and Dixon. I don't know what the hell that just said, but we're out of here. What else we got? What else we got? We can fire in an enclosed space. Classic. So we gotta- oh, there was something shiny here, hold on. What's this? Dig for it. An old class ring! Nice! SIT ring. Let's see. Got some- some incomprehensible glyphs are scrawled on the wall of the boxcar. Yes they are, yes they are. Hmm, okay. So we are missing something here. Maybe let's double back the- ooh. You can see this. There's a weird plaque where Lydia was just standing. Read it. Historic site. At this exact spot on the 13th of October, 1908, the state's first mass-produced automobile, a Ford Model T purchased by Hiram O. Crollins, accidentally struck and killed the first state's the state's first state's first hitchhiker, Lydia Barnsley. Hmm. So apparently, that woman you talked to 20 minutes ago has been. Ex <laughs> has been dead for exactly 20 years. Good. Swell. Everything about this is great and you aren't regretting this trip before you even arrived. Go on about your normal non-haunted day. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Well, there's not much to say about all that. Pump is empty, full of water instead of gas. There's a little bit of gas left in this pump, but there's no hose on it. Uh, okay, so, okay. So we're looking for a ho- Oh, it's the turtle! This turtle seems to be heading to Ocean City, too. At this rate, it might beat you there. Take it with you. Ah, what do you want to name him? Um... Let's go with Franklin. Let's go with Franklin the Turtle. I, you know, I could have gone with the classic, like, Donatello, Leonardo, you know, something like that. You know, one of the classic, uh, Renaissance-era painters. But I just, you know, I feel like that meme's a little played out at this point. You wouldn't make a dog walk six miles in this rain, no matter how, how bad it wanted to. That's a weird way of saying you can't make it. Alright, so we gotta find... Helco Gas. <laughs> gotta find a hose. So let's see if maybe... Maybe we can find a hose somewhere in here. No. Alright, so I need to get three mysticality to get that lift down. Something like that. Let's talk to, uh, what was this guy's name? Hold, hold on. So you're moving out? Uh, yep. Finished backing, so now I'm just waiting for the movers to come and take the last load of stuff. You got movers coming in the middle of the night? Nah, in the morning. But I went and packed my teddy bear and forgot which box he's in. Can't sleep. Ah, I see. Why are you leaving? Well, my daughter went off to college, so there's nothing keeping me here. Never particularly cared for farming anyhow. Just kind of fell into it, you know? So I reckon I'd take the opportunity to retire and travel a bit. See what kind of trouble I can get it up to. <laughs> nice! So, what's your story? What are you doing out on a night like this? I got a letter. Got a letter from my Uncle Murray, and it sounded urgent, so I hopped on a bus to Ocean City. I ain't sure how to tell you this, but you got a ways to go yet. Yeah, the bus ran out of gas, so the driver sent me to scavenge for some more. I gotcha. Well, I think there's, some, uh, there's an old gas can in the barn out back. You're welcome to it. Thanks. You gotta warn you, though. You'll have to fight my daughter for it. What? Well, technically, I should have said my daughter's monster. What? <laughs> it's a thing my daughter Simone built. What? <laughs> See, my kid's a real technical whiz. She built an auto... Autonomous robotraption with the help of plowing and harvesting and the like. Works real nice too! Wow! Problem is, after she left, it blew a what's a tube. Ah, there's my tube. There's my tube. And got violent. Pretty good with machinery, but when it comes to these newfangled electronics, might as well be a dog trying to read Play Doh. So I locked it in the barn. Ah, I see. Welcome to try your hand against it if you'd mind, uh, if you mind to, but please be careful. It's got a lot of sharp bits on it. Here's the key. 
Farmer Chekhov's barn key. Thank you, sir. Well, let's go ahead and get on in there. You heave the doors and leave the key in the lock in case Elias wants to lock it up again later. Go on in. Okay, okay. Oh, well, that's the robot there. On her and trowel for some long-gone livestock. This must be the farmer's daughter's fishing rod. Take it. She won't, she won't miss it, you assume. Fishing rod. This is a fishing rod used for fishing. <laughs> and definitely not for fighting. Deals, <laughs> deals your muscle plus one physical damage. Very nice. Paint. This is a painting of a bunch of tools. <laughs> I have a reoccurring nightmare about searching for something in one of these. <laughs> and the last game, you had to search through uh, haystacks to get ne uh, needles. Uh, based on the arrangement of objects around it, you conclude that this is a machine for turning hail hay bales into loose hay. <laughs> Beautiful pile of hay. A baleful pile of hay. Say, see, ah. See, they got me there. Um, basic humanity. Muscle plus one physical damage. Reduces enemy muscle mysticality and moxie by one when you honk it at them once per fight. I don't have any accessory. Makes everyone think you S you attended SIT or mugged someone who did. Tarnished ring from the class of Seaside Institute of Technology. Adorned with a blue jewel supported by a pair of tiny carved badgers. Very interesting. Alright. Ranged weapon. Okay, so that's ranged. This is melee. Let's give this a try. You're not going to get past that thing without destroying it. I'll destroy it then. Alright. Now, we've learned stuff about this. First thing we want to do is hit honk. Yeah, just a regular honk. Nothing else to talk about there. And then, we're going to thwack it. Because that lowers his defense and his offense. So now he's going to come over. Ooh! And he'll deal less damage. And... Gideon the Warbler is going to boost up my attack power, which is good, because now we can defeat him. And with that, we gain more XP. And we've learned, we've got enough XP now to learn a skill. Open the character sheet via the icon on the top right or hit C. Simone's monsters now just pile parts on the floor. Rest in parts. And might be able to get a tube out of this, right? Right? Nope. Okay. Uh, you went through a lot to gain access to this can. Accept your reward. Victory is sweet. It's probably the lead that makes it sweet. <laughs> I'll take that. It's a workbench for welding. You can go up there if it weren't for your hay fever and your falling out of lofts fever. <laughs> so it says I got enough for a skill here. I feel like everybody, you know, I, <laughs> I fall into the classic trope. I feel like everybody does, you know, the, the muscle path, right? Uh, nobody really does the mysticality one. I feel like that's the most interesting path in the past couple games. So I'm going to go ahead and go with mysticality here. So now, now, whoop, whoop, whoop. I think, I think with that being said, I wonder if we have anything. We don't have anything yet to be... Let's go ahead and fight the Scarecrow again, now that we got this game figured out. We don't have anything yet for mysticality, so I really want to be able to figure out where I can find whatever I need to use mysticality. Oh! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, come on, come on! Bow! Ooh. Ooh. I don't think it's going to go well. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Nope, didn't make it. Didn't quite make it. That's all right. That's all right. Try this one again later. I'm not leaving without killing that scarecrow though. Hang over the fireplace. I'd really like to find, like, a fork or something, you know? The mysticality thing says that we mostly use, uh... Mostly use, like, forks or utensils. So somewhere around here, there's gotta be, like, a fork or something that we can use as a weapon. Oh, the shelf is laden with miscellaneous electrical widgets and doodads. Look for a fuse. Got a fuse! Nice! Okay, so that's what we need for the fuse box here. Let's open it and replace that fuse. Click. Done. Well, 
did what you needed to do here. There's no sense in subjecting yourself to further electrocution risk. Okay. So I guess now... Ah, there we go. There we go. Alright. Pour it into your kin. Yeah, the car is missing its gas tank, but there is a big glass of gasoline in the cup holder. Ah, there we go. Now we got enough gas. Three mysticality, huh? There's gotta be something else we can do here. Hey, Elias. Hmm, what can I do for you? I found this old class ring. Hand it to him. Hey, it's a 17 SIT ring. I got one of those in faux emerald, but not a faux sapphire like this one. These are the ones they uh, gave out to junior varsity pig skinners. Had a little enchantment on them so the kids wouldn't get quite so many concussions. Probably wore off by now. Is it worth anything? Nah, not to a jeweler or pawnbroker or anything like that. A collector would give you 30 meat for it, such as myself, if you're interested in selling it. Now, let me think about it. Let's see if that's the mysticality thing. Nope. Uh... Yeah, I'll sell that class. Let me think about it, let me think about it. I don't know, I don't know. Stuff like this always comes back. Off the class. Actually, you could just have it. Well, thank you. That's right generous. He admires it a bit more and then slips it into his pocket overalls. Don't mention it. Well, I was kind of hoping to get some, like, mysticality weapon out of that. Yeah, I think we did everything we can at this point. Maybe once we hand over that uh, gasoline can, there'll be something else that opens up here. Because it feels like a lot of this stuff has higher skill requirements than what I can get just beating one thing. There we go. Hey there, friend, any luck with the gas? You should the driver of the gas can. Well, his gas can. Well, hey, there is a full t can of gas. I knew you could do it. You ready to hit the road? Mm, yeah, let's get out of here. Takes the can and empties it into the gas tank. And with that, we're on our way. Gain 10 XP. Ah, exactly the XP I needed to get that next level of mysticality. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Climb back on the bus and return to your seat, and as soon as you're dozing off, the sound of rain spatters on the windows beside you. Unfortunately, it's barely an approximation of sleep. The sort of sleep that you slip into so gradually that you don't even notice you're asleep until something wakes you up. Plunkett Street! And you realize that your meandering thoughts of the past few minutes have been utterly strange, shadowing tendrils of whispering ideas. Hey kid, this is your stop, right? That are now totally forgotten. Ugh. Oh, uh, what? All ashore, what's going ashore? Thanks for traveling with Bill Willis Bus Co. Disembark. Alright, well I think we've beat the prologue here. Uh... <laughs> and not doing a great job of it. Hey! This hobo seems well, wholly unperturbed by the rain. Talk to him. Nice weather we're having. He smiles and looks up and lets the rain splash on his face. <laughs> Suits me just fine, I guess. Wise man once said, the rain falls on poor men and rich men alike. Was that before or after umbrellas were invented? Or, my name's Gus, by the way. Hi, I'm Mayo. Pleased to meet you, Mayo. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a couple spare meat, would you? Sure. Give me two meat. Thank you very much, Mayo. Old Gus won't forget your kindness, you bet. Uh, take her easy, Gus. <laughs> I'm still kind of lapsing back into nothing in that direction except the road you arrived on. And walking all the way back there probably isn't a good use of your time right now. I keep lapsing back into, uh, West of Loathing, Western Gambit, you know? Going seems inaccurate. Cola War Surplus. The Army Surplus store is closed for the night. Ooh, the bell over the door jangles as you walk into Murray's Antiques. The young woman at the counter looks up as you enter. Oh, hi, you must be Mayo. We don't got many customers at this time of night. Or, at all, really. That's me. You were expecting me? Yeah, Murray did said something. Yeah, Murray didn't say much about you, but he gave me the letter, that letter to mail. My name's Jessica. Oh, jeez, you're soaking wet. Come on in and I'll get you a towel. Walk over to the counter, trying not to drip on any vintage brick or brack as Jessica grabs a threadbare bath towel from a shelf and pulls the tag off before tossing it to you. Thanks, uh, is Uncle Murray here? His letter wasn't very specific. He isn't. You said that in kind of an ominous way. Where is he? Jessica sighs. I wish I knew. He had a line on another artifact and said it was going to be a tough one. I told him he, I told him he should get some backup, but he just wasn't willing to wait. He just wrote that letter and told me to mail it if he didn't come back. Is there something I'm missing here? 
This is an antique shop, right? You make trying to talk Great Aunt Ruthie into selling her mother's Chesterfield sound like a deadly spy mission. Yeah, this is gonna take some explaining. Well, I'm deaf. <laughs> Can't wait till morning? Sorry, hon, we don't have a lot of time to waste. Uh, and I have to at least give you enough information to make a rational decision on helping us or not. Well, alright. Jessica leads you into a back room, furnished with some desks and some strange looking machinery. Welcome to our back office, the hub of our little operation. I'm guessing by operation you're talking about something other than antiques. Well, yes and no. See, a few years ago, Murray found out that there's a bunch of antiques circulating that are, well, hanky. <laughs> Would be a real understatement. Hanky? Murray called them tainted, dark magic, real bad mojo, you know, cursed. Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I thought for a second you were talking about making bathtub gin or something. <laughs> It's no joke. That's what our real job is here. The antique store is just, well, not exactly a front. We find a lot of regular antiques too, and some of them keeps us in our in scratch. But really, we're trying to hunt down these evil doodads and neutralize them so nobody gets hurt. And Uncle Murray went out to get one and never came back. That's the long and short of it. Yep. What do you say? Are you in? Absolutely. I'm always up for a crazy adventure. Great. You hear the shop door opening, and after a moment, a goblin pokes her head into the office. Hello? Oh, the goblins. <laughs> oh, hey, it's swell timing. Hey, Gabby, Murray's sister kid showed up. Come meet him. Murray's sister's kid showed up. Okay. <laughs> Hi, guarded. Hi, hello, the pleasure is all Gabby's. Gabby, would you be a deer and carry this luggage to Murray's room? And grab some blankets and stuff out of the cupboard. He could sleep there till we find Murray. You've gotten it. Gabby picks up your suitcase and carries it through a door in the back room. Great, I could really use some sleep. Well, I think we're gonna leave this one here. We did the prologue, we got to town here, we got through the, the intro, the introductory, anyway. Um, I know this one was a little bit lackluster here, and we didn't even find a mysticality weapon, which is just kind of upsetting. Um, so I'm gonna do a little dig in here. There was that, that, uh, Cola Wars surplus store. So we're gonna check that out here first thing next episode and see if we can get a good weapon. So, thank you guys for coming by. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey!